Asus is no stranger in the tech world. The Asus Pro Art display has over 2,000 ratings on its Amazon listing, but is it a monitor that you should trust with your creative workflow? When you take a look at the product description, it says stuff like industry standard 100% sRGB, 100% rec 709 color gamut, and rich connectivity ports. But does this monitor live up to its specs or is it all cap? Because let's face it, you're not buying this monitor for its flicker-free technology or its ultra-low blue light technology. It's all about the color, baby. Whether you're printing out your own photography, making illustrations for the web, or editing and coloring videos, you need your colors to come out how you perceive them. So throughout this video, let's determine if the Asus Pro Art display is right for you. Let's start off answering the easy questions. If you're a returning viewer to this channel, it's evident that the Asus Pro Art display has a 100 by 100 centimeter vessel mount. This is beneficial in case you want the wall mount or use a monitor arm mount to mount this monitor for your clean and minimal work from home desk setup. I personally advise mounting it in order to reclaim your desk space. When it comes to audio, the Asus Pro Art display gives you audio, but it's nothing to write home about. The audio travels through my HDMI, so no, I don't have to have an aux cable. In the event that you're connecting via the display port instead of an HDMI, it's important that you go into the audio settings in your monitor and make sure the proper display connection is selected. At this moment in time, I only use the HDMI cable connection, so I can't answer any questions about the display port connection with Apple MacBooks. If you find yourself in a bind with an HDMI cable that is too short for your setup, feel free to copy my purchase by checking out the 4K 10 foot HDMI cable linked in the description below. I personally use a long HDMI because my tower is on the floor on the other side of my desk. HDMI cables that come with monitors won't be able to cover this connection distance. In terms of everyday usage, it's nice to have an earphone jack that allows me to have better control over audio while I'm video editing. When it comes to picture quality, I don't think it's common knowledge that IPS monitors aren't going to provide you with true blacks and true whites because IPS panels aren't made for high contrast. The Asus Pro Art Display IPS panel has a contrast ratio of approximately 1000 to 1, so your blacks are going to look off black, if you know what I mean. VA panels have the best contrast ratios at 3000 to 1 or higher, but there are trade-offs which are outside the scope of this video, so I digress. When it comes to black uniformity, this IPS panel is not that great. For those of you that are curious, this has an LED backlight. You can see that there is visible black light bleed at the top left and the left side of my screen. Truthfully, it hasn't been noticeable to me on everyday usage, but if you're dealing with black scenes a lot, I can imagine how it would annoy you over time. Alternatively, the gray uniformity is pretty good. When looking at the corners, the screen edges don't look dark or too light. When it comes to viewing angles, no lie was told there. No matter which angle I view the monitor, I see consistent colors without the image shifting in contrast and color. That's a W in my book. Right out of the box, it's nice that the Asus Pro Art Display is Kalman verified, color calibrated for color accurate content creation and viewing. Oof. Before lightly touching on the Rec 709 and the sRGB color spaces, let's cycle through both modes on screen so you can see the differences on a photo I took and graded. Here's what it looks like in the Rec 709 mode, and here's what it looks like in the sRGB mode. Again, 709 sRGB. As a Premiere Pro editor, I work in the Rec 709 mode since that is a standard image encoding for high definition television. Rec 709 is a commonly used color space for media that is created online or that's broadcasted. Different monitors and media devices know how to pick up the Rec 709 color space, so you guys, the W gang, should have no worries about creating content in this mode. There are other modes like scenery, reading, dark room, and rapid rendering, but I don't spend much time in those modes, so I won't pretend to be knowledgeable. While in the standard mode, the Pro Art palette does allow the customization of parameters like hue, temperature, saturation, gamma, and colors, but this is great for media consumption and not creation because the last thing I need is to turn up the saturation on my screen while creating content because if I do that and then check out content from another device, it's going to look washed out in comparison. Just be careful there. 
Now, to put it bluntly, Asus wasn't playing around when they said this Pro Art display offers rich connectivity. In lieu of taking this apart, let's swing this monitor around and take a look. If you love USBs, you'd be happy to know that there are four USB 3.2 Gen 1 Type A connections. Also, there's one DisplayPort, Mini DisplayPort, HDMI 1.4, Dual Link DVI, earphone jack, and PC audio input. When it comes to customer satisfaction, the Asus ProArt display is received well on B&H Photo and Amazon. The former has a customer rating of 4.7 with over 120 reviews, while the latter has over 2,000 reviews with an average rating of 4.6. In my opinion, it's always a good sign to see great reviews across multiple sites. Now, the next question you're probably asking yourself is, who is this monitor for? I understand how viewers like yourself like to know how other people like me are using devices before you decide to purchase. At $300, I think this monitor is priced well for what it does. For this monitor, I prioritize photography, video editing, and design over gaming. So at the end of the day, I'm okay with the five millisecond response time and the 75 Hertz refresh rate. For anything that I post on Instagram, once I'm okay with it in the sRGB mode, it's a done deal. When I'm not switching between Rec 709 and the sRGB color space, I leave my color space on standard. In terms of who I think this monitor is for, the list is very inclusive. Graphic designers, video editors, photographers, and illustrators. I can't offer monitor option opinions for 3D rendering and gaming development since I don't do that and I'm not an expert in monitors. Plus, I should also say that I'm not customer support. If you have a problem with your monitor, there's a high chance I can't help, but feel free to leave your comment below in case someone in the W gang can help you out. Even though you've seen me play games on the Asus Pro Art display, it's not a monitor I'd recommend for gaming. This video isn't tilted towards gaming monitors, so again, I digress. Now, let's say you purchased this monitor or found another one for your creative needs. Your next step is mounting it to your desk with an affordable monitor arm mount. In that case, check out this video I made with the monitor arm mount I purchased and continue to use in my creative and work from home desk setup. 